Okay, welcome back. We're going to the second cycle, really. Well, you know. So yeah, now, last time, we got back to normal Link, and got the Deku Mask, so great time and all that cool crap. I don't know why I just changed the Deku Link, before just now. So yeah, now we got the uh, shield copy of the sword. Now you can head out to, uh, you know, here. Yeah, but first you gotta talk to them, and then every other guard lets you pass. So you gotta do this once per cycle. Oh, for the last time. Wait. I've been playing too much Super Mario RPG, I think. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm gonna skip to the night of the first day so I can get a mask. And we just gotta wait for midnight, or I think. And we gotta get enough cocktail. So I'm not really gonna go to the swamp just yet. Ooh, fairy, get back here. Me want. Oh, I'll just go to Deku to get it. Now where the hell is that fairy? Okay, we'll go to the North Clock Tower, but first I want to show you a little, little secret. Well, it's not so secret really, but it's a really a 300 rupees for, well, for every cycle you get it, so make sure you do save it. So just jump along here. Oh, whoops. I keep missing that. So anyway, let's just try again. Yeah, rolling before jumping gets you a bit extra um, distance in your jumping, so do so on those bit more further jumps. So yeah, here's the chest, and you'll get a suit silver rupee, which is much up worth a hundred. The highest amount of rupee you can get, the highest worth is the gold rupee, which is worth two hundred. But anyway, I got ninety-nine rupees. So let's go over to North Clock Town. Well, I'll go to the West Clock Town, so I'll deposit all my rupees. Because I got a few hours left until I, I need to be really in clock down, so well I'm not clock down, so let's head over to West. Have fun for dancing. Oh yeah, we have to get stand for our special link again. So yeah, now we've got 99 rupees back. Oh yeah, these are our statues. Um, yeah, just hit him with the sword. You can only do this as um, the kid, you know, normal link. 
And when you press A, you go for the little message, and then if it says yes, yeah, you can quit and save from the exact point of time and all that. Without having to go for the song of time, and you're almost going to get an do all this stuff. You just want to take a little break. But anyway, let's go to Fairy Fountain. Yeah, we'll just fix the fairy again. But you gotta just keep them so you get like a, the marks. Oh yeah, there's four temples in this game, and there's stray fairies. They look like the one we just collected. And there's 15 in each, and yeah, this mask will draw stray fairies, you know, if they're all wandering around for them. Yeah, so this is the great fairy mask. And you know you're close to a fairy um, when the hair begins to sparkle. So yeah, pay attention. So make sure you have the great fairy mask around when you're in the temples. Because get all 15 and go the, and get them back to their fairy fountain and get a reward. So there's another piece of heart we can get. But first, let me introduce you to Saikon. He's, he's like, he's basically the thief of Majora's Mask. Trust me, it makes me look like I never stole anything before. So yeah, just jump over this tree and... Now we've got three pieces out of four, so once we get another heart piece, we can we get another heart container. Really. Oh yeah, also if we do the bombers thing again as Kid Link, we also get the bombers notebook, which I'll wait until the next day, so I have more time. Well, I should have plenty, but still. So yeah, let's just wait here for about an hour. Just wait till midnight, because you'll, you'll know when it's time, because an old lady will come around. Yep, there it comes. Yep, there she is. 
So yeah. Take on, we'll just, you know. So you can only do this on the first night. Yeah. 